Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. You are live with Endeavor Gaming. Today I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about some big news coming out about Star Trek Online and that is that Perfect World Entertainment has been bought out by another company. So let's talk about it, answer some of the big questions, and think about what this might mean for the future. So let's just go on ahead and get into it. So, as many of you guys probably already know, this news was posted a little bit earlier today. We actually got our official announcement from Ambassador Kale this morning at just past 7 a.m. Eastern Time. And let's go ahead and open up this official announcement from Embracer Group. And we're going to read through it and answer some of the big questions that we've got about this. So, let's head over to that site here. So, here it is. Embracer Group has entered into an agreement to acquire Perfect World Entertainment. So, for those of you that don't know, Embracer Group is one of the groups that falls under Gearbox Studios. They control a bunch of game developer subsidiaries, and we'll get into that and some of those other companies a little bit later. But the big important news here is that they are completely absorbing Perfect World Entertainment into their sort of suite of other companies. The acquisition is going to add everyone who works for Perfect World, which at this moment includes 237 employees, obviously a smattering of which are the people who are in charge of Star Trek Online, people like Ambassador Kale, Thomas Maroney, all of them. And this payout is $125 million divided between some amount of money in cash and then B shares in stocks for Embracer. So, first, let's get the big question out of the way. Does this mean that Perfect World and Cryptic and STO are going away? Rest easy. These things are not going away. Perfect World Entertainment is going to just be part of the Embracer Group, but Perfect World, its leadership, and its employees at the moment will not be changing in any way. They are going to be an independent studio within Gearbox Entertainment, but Perfect World Entertainment as an entity will still exist after this merger or buyout goes through. So, a couple of other big questions, and one that I'm surprised they did talk about, and that was talking about in 2021, Perfect World Entertainment having those losses from the cancellation of their uh, somewhat controversial MMO, Magic Legends. They, they even wrote a paragraph talking about how they are aware that this was not a great game launch, but they still feel that Perfect World is going to be a strong financial cont contributor to their overall company. And they did make mention of Star Trek Online here, and that Cryptic is currently operating three long-standing MMOs, which includes Neverwinter, STO, and Champions Online, all very popular, that make a ton of money, and they expect to make more. And here's another big thing. Let's see if we can scroll down and talking about some of their future plans. So apparently, they're planning on launching more games, Perfect World. And there's even a game launched for 2022 at some point that, as far as I know, has been unannounced. But I imagine now we will probably be hearing about that sometime soon. So... Going away from this announcement, let's go back to Kale's post specifically, and he answers some big questions that we should talk about. First one, what does this mean for Star Trek Online? And here's his official answer. It's an exciting new opportunity for us to work with a new and very talented group of people. We've all seen the previous work Gearbox has done, and it's cool to get to be a part of that. But in terms of the day-to-day -day operations of STO, very little will change, if anything at all. The team is not changing, the leadership of both STO and Cryptic Studios is not changing, and the team who was previously at Perfect World Entertainment, now Gearbox, is unchanging as well. Basically, you should see very little difference once this deal goes through and how our game runs. So, answering the big one right off the bat, day-to-day -day interactions, things to do with STO, what we will notice on the player level, should not be changing at all, which is... Phew! All right. Next question, 
Will SDO be sunset because of the steal? A little bit of background. Sunset means, you know, shutting down the game, winding it back, things like that. Answer to that, there are no plans to sunset Star Trek Online right now. We are hard at work on continued development and remain committed to providing our players with the best experience possible. Great. Game's not going anywhere. Next question. Will I still run the game through Arc? If Arc was your preferred way to launch the game, that won't change. You'll also still be able to launch it through Steam or just use the launcher, the cryptic launcher itself. Now, they didn't specifically mention Epic here, but I'm assuming that this can be extended to Epic as well. You'll still be able to launch the game through there. And lastly, how will this affect my account? Your account should experience no changes as a result of Cryptic joining the Gearbox family. If there are any changes, we'll let you know in a separate forum post. So we shouldn't notice any server changes right now, but if anything changes, we will get a forum post about it hopefully soon. Though, given the situation, I doubt it. But let's talk about what this means. I'm hoping this means now that a much bigger and more established group is going to be taking the reins, I guess, as far as the company overseeing STO, that might mean potentially putting more money into things that can be more profitable. STO is a great game, but a lot of things that a lot of people have problems with in the game are things that could be fixed if they just had more staff, more development time on things. And perhaps having Gearbox running everything, that is a possibility. I'm not going to say that it's going to happen or not going to happen, but it would definitely be a nice to see. We're gonna have to wait for more, but we just wanted to answer some of the big questions. The overall statement is nothing at all should be changing. And as soon as something does, we will know about it and you will get an updated video talking about it. So that's about all I got for the day, guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you in the next video. As always, you have been live with Endeavor Gaming, and remember to keep calm and game on.